Okay, hello, my name is Dr. Shambles and today I'm just going to upload an unedited video for you guys. This just came out, it's the announcement of every structure deck that we're going to get in OPO8. So I just want to get this straight out um, and just give a little bit of my opinion here. Thankfully this man, thank you so much, uh, gave us the timestamps. So this is the new gate um, deck that you get once you buy. Uh, I'm telling right now, it's pretty solid. We get the Josephs, we get the blocker, um, the blocker Marcos. We get the Searcher Izu. I'll talk about this a little bit because she's a rare, but they pretty much the reprints they we got most of them that uh, are pretty much rares that were converted to commons, which I support by the way. It was the same way on in Yu-Gi-Oh, and I think it's really good. It just decreases the price of many cards, and I think it's a good balance. So yeah, these three are good reprints. The new New Gates. Absolutely perfect. I love him. The new ace is really good as well. And I just wish they gave us, instead of this uh, event, they straight out gave us the searcher event of the Whitebeard Pirates. But it's fine. The deck is not bad. The support, he got the new support. It's pretty good. They gave us two copies of reprint. Two co no, this is not a reprint. It's a new card. I think this is not a new card. This is a reprint. They gave us two of these, which is really, really weird. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, now let's get to the next one, which is the Uta. Uta is, uh, I'm sorry, it is what it is. It's the most trash that I've seen. The only thing you can get from here is a Searcher uh, 2k Luffy, which they don't even give you four of, they just give you two of. Uh, then you get the Bartolomeu, which is, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing him wrong, I probably am. Which is a good, really good reprint, it's the best reprint we got here. Uh, then we have Shanks, which is a good card, but it depends how Blackbeard will shift the meta in OPO9. But overall, these cards are really not that good. And the bunch of events, I don't know, man. It is what it is. Uh, I don't know about this new blocker, Uta. Uh, also, it doesn't help that I don't really understand much of how Uta is right now. I do understand the strategy of Uta, but I don't know if it even evolved past uh, the release of her starter deck. Uh, but it's really weak. Uh, we did get this little vanilla reprint, but I, I don't know, man. Uh, it's not that good. It's not that good. Next is the Blue Dawn Flamingo. This is the mo the absolutely most cracked uh, starter deck. They pretty much gave us the this Moria, which was really expensive. The 2K Mihawk, which is was really expensive. No, not really expensive, but it was going up on price. The Blocker Don Flamingo, which is really nice. They gave us the events on uh, Jinbei. Now, I'm going to upload this video today, but I think it's on a future video where you see me uh, call out that the cards are going to be in event in Dofi are the Jinbei, which I got right. And then I said it was going to be the Zoro uh, with Banish as an event card that was going to be on the Luffy purple deck. Because these were the only two decks that were going to get event cards. So the with the little P slash serial number. Uh, I got this one right. Uh, it made sense to just straight out decrease the, 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 the extreme cost of this card. And I think, again, many of these cards can come back because Blackbeard will take away the on-play effects. Which are very, very common on the meta right now. And these older, slower cards can... can can come back in the meta and so i think this is absolutely cracked absolutely cracked four of these blackbeard um search not search but you get the idea really insane hancock is a, a good card this new uh crocodile giving us four is somewhat of a possible good card this buggy as well giving us only two we'll probably only be playing two but yeah really like, this is one's the best starter deck, by the way. Just straight up. I should have listened to you guys. I should have waited for my uh, for my petition to end later. And just straight out bring this. By the way, he does have my favorite art rework out of the four. So, yeah. Next is the uh, purple Luffy. Now, this starter deck is actually better than I thought. The only thing I must call out is why only two of these Uzop. It's not like it's an insane. I would rather like it. I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe two of these events and get four of him or two. I don't know. You guys probably could like decrease th some of these to two. Maybe this vanilla Luffy and just straight out give us the those up. I don't think he would have hurt. But yeah, the event card we got for uh, the purple Luffy is this Gear 5 Luffy, which is not played. Ah, 
it is what it is. I would prefer Zoro with the uh, with the banish, but it's not a. It was better than I thought. We got the Frank, the Frankie two K, which is really nice. We got uh, the other Usopp, which is really nice. We got this Jinbei. I thought I was going to have to buy this Jinbei. No, we're getting four. That's really nice. Uh, we straight out didn't get the trash Nami. We're gonna get the rework Nami at four, which is really nice. So yeah, the only thing I'm kind of sad about is only seeing two here. This two at two is obviously what was established. We already knew this. I'm gonna have to grab two of each, but the rest really nice. Not disappointed at all. Really nice. You guys are going to see why I'm saying really nice to these cards appearing. Uh, you guys will see next week. But again, I'm just gonna upload this today as soon as I stop recording. And next is Black Smoker. This is the second best starter deck. Really nice reprints. Tsuru, brand new. We got the Ice Age here. We got this, uh, so I think it's the new uh, Searcher Sengoku, which is really nice as well. I think this is Helmepo, by the way. It looks like Helmepo. It, it kind of reads the same effect as Helmepo, I believe. So I think it's a rework Hel Helmepo. A reprint in kind of rework, you know? So I think that's nice. If not, we'll see. But I, I really didn't see through these guys. I just I saw, I saw through the Whitebeard. And then they just presented the deck list at the end. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to skip. <laughs> um, we are getting this uh, Garp as well. Yeah. And this uh, over here, this 2k counter. I forgot his fucking name. It starts with a V. It's really nice as well. Overall, really nice deck. with I, And Kobe. Kobe is a really nice tech card. Uh, and a budget option. So yeah. We will see, but I think the best thing is it's brand new Tsuru and Ice Age over here. The new uh, Super Rares, I don't know how well they're going to do in the meta. We'll see, we'll see. But I really don't want to call out the, um, the, 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 the the SRs. And last is Katakuri, which is the one I got. To be honest, I, it's pretty much what I was expecting. <laughs> um, the only thing I wasn't expecting is they pretty much put the rare pudding onto a comment and gave us that and the four thunderbolts i got two thunderbolts and four puddings right now you guys saw on the video of yesterday um it's okay to be honest it was two euros both of them combined so it wasn't expensive at all uh i was expecting instead of this npc right here to get four of the uh vanilla Pero sparrow but for you know i we got the pudding no it's not pudding I don't remember the names, man. <laughs> so we got this girl, which is a nice tech card, I believe, um, to have, although she's not played in category. And this one right here, which I forgot his name again, the Genie. Uh, I think he could be a good tech card. This is simple because uh, going forward into OP09, Blackbeard is going to stop your own plays. So maybe like this, for example, this block of category not having an on play effect is really nice. And... Uh, and we are definitely going to be playing four of his of them, uh, but maybe one of him as a um, as a tech card could be seen play, play, yeah, there you go, play. We could see play of him, four of these um, of this uh, new two K counter brulee. It's what I was expecting. We got this event, which is nice actually. I remember when the yellow first dropped. I remember loving this uh, event. Uh, I hated playing against it, but I really loved playing it. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. You guys can now look at these uh, these decks and uh, go to a store. There are many stores that are actually already pre-ordering these decks. I already got two of category one of Luffy. Yes, I got two of category. Uh, I really want... Uh, I If Red Purple All was going, I was really thinking about many categories. So yeah, I just got two to get the two blocker categories and two uh, of the new Leeling. Uh, this is because... Sometimes the scalpers do like to put like these two extra copies of blocker category onto the same price as a starter deck. So yeah, I might as well just get two starter decks and get the, more of the cards. The reason I'm telling you this is because this happened to me when it was the case of blocker law. Uh, when the three captains came out. So yeah, after that, every single deck that I want, I just buy two of. Just save the money in the advance. So yeah, just look at the decks you prefer. I think uh, Whitebeard as a whole is actually uh, one of the nicest as well. But definitely Dofi is the cracked one. He got the best uh, starter deck. Smoker really got uh, good uh, as well. Um, when it comes to Red Purple Life, he does not get banned. Because Blackbeard is coming and stops on play effects, he will somewhat slow down the meta, I believe, by the way. 
And so that seven cost white bird could go to our red purple. I don't know, man. <laughs> it could go like that. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. I'm just gonna stop recording and upload it. Uh, I'm I, I'm gonna do a thumbnail after I just upload it first, and then I'll upload the thumbnail. So yeah, goodbye.